Uh, today, warm, right? Deceptively warm. I ran into a few folks this afternoon that said, I grabbed my coat. I don't need a coat. It's just feeling a little wonk outside. Also very windy. We were expecting strong wind gusts this afternoon. Right now in Nashville, the winds are sustained around 11 miles per hour. Real pretty sky as well. Some high thin cirrus clouds out there. The gusts have been much higher than that. And because the wind was strong enough, the ground is dry enough and the humidity is low enough. Red flag warnings have been issued mainly for areas north uh, of I-40 and west of Interstate 65. So these are issued when the concern is that um, any outdoor burning would get out of control. We haven't had much rain this month, so the ground, like I said, very dry. The humidity is low. There's dry air mass in place. And with gusty wind, any fire that did start would likely spread pretty quickly. That red flag warning expires at 6 o'clock tonight. The wind was gustier earlier today. It's already started to calm down a touch. Still somewhat breezy, around 15 miles an hour for your sustained winds, and gusts are still in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range. This will calm down overnight tonight, so we're not going to have a howling wind in the overnight time frame, but that strong southerly wind, that's what pumped up the mercury today. Mid-60s is where we sit right now. Far cry from the 20s that you woke up to yesterday morning. Here's a look at those wind speeds, so still somewhat gusty early in the evening, but then calming down overnight. We'll still keep that southerly component in play, so even though the wind won't be as strong the next couple days, the temperatures will remain mild through Sunday. Here are the key changes to our forecast thinking that you need to know. We had to increase rain chances for Sunday. Our next cold front looks to arrive a little bit sooner, so the majority of the rain now falling on Sunday and tapering off early into Monday. And it does look like still once that first com front comes through, it's going to return us to a more active weather pattern. So here's a sneak peek at some computer modeling. Sunday, we've got this quick hitting cold front, just showers, not expecting any thunderstorms with this. We dry off Monday, Tuesday. The system to watch is Wednesday. It's looking like Thanksgiving Eve. We're going to have a stronger cold front come through. It looks to have more rain. It looks to have some thunderstorm potential, and there could be some strong storms with it. It's still a good six days away, so we're going to have to fine tune that as it gets closer. But with folks, even in an odd year like this, traveling a lot, especially the day before Thanksgiving, that's going to be something to watch for impacts as far as your week next week, your Thanksgiving plans. At this point, it looks like rain scoots out early Thursday, Vicki, and leaves us with sunny skies for the turkey coma late in the day. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, Bree.